Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use URL as one of the resources. First things first, turn editing on. And then I'm just going to scroll down a bit. Okay. Click add an activity or resource. And then scroll down a bit. And the resources, you see URL. Okay. So basically for this URL you can add in YouTube videos websites um, basically whatever websites that have URL you can just add it in okay so click add and this page up this page will pop up and I'm gonna write the title in description you're gonna have to write something um, but if you want your video to appear in course page you can but please don't forget to click on display description on course page so click it right over here i've already chosen a video that i want in order for you to make sure that it appears on the course page okay um on your video there is share click on that and you will see embed click on that one and this one is already highlighted. Copy. Okay. Copy it. Then go back to this page to Putra Blast. Under description, click on this tiny little thing. Edit HTML source. If this doesn't appear, because sometimes um, default settings, it appears something like this. But click on this toolbar toggle and you will find it over here so click that one and then this small page will pop up HTML source editor so the ones that um, you already copied just now just paste it and click update and now you have your video already in this little box okay but you would want to add the external URL as well. So what you're going to have to do is go back to YouTube and copy paste this one. Copy. Right. And then go back over here and paste it. There you go. We have it over there. You have the option of having just the link so that when the students click on the link it will go um, to the website, to the video or you can actually embed it or you can open it or you want it to pop up in another page it's up to you but let's go with embed so that the video can be embedded straight away um, when the students want to see it right you can change the size oh it seems that you can't it's already fixed if you embed it all right so save and display See, now you already have the um, video, but if you want to see how the video appears on the course page, you go to the course page and just scroll down a bit. There you have the video already embedded in the course page. Okay, but if the student click on this, they will go to this page over here. So either one, the students can access to the video. All right, now let's go back and um, try to add website links to the URL okay so click add an activity or resource and then go back to resources and click URL click add and then um, I've already have a um, website over here um, it's about heat transfer as well. So I'm gonna copy. Right. So I'm just gonna go with a um, title. And then description, you can write whatever. In this case here, I can't embed it, so I'm not going to display it, so I'm just going to leave this one unticked. 
right? And then I'm gonna paste the URL. Nope. What am I doing? Go back to over here and copy paste. Okay. Paste it. Okay, and then I want it to be embed. And just click save and display. And you have the website. Okay, but if you look at the course page, nothing over here except for this link. You can just click on it and you can see the website appearing. So that's how you do it and it can be considered as one of the resources. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much.